Good morning, Dreyfus. My name is Zachary Montoya. Today is National Make Lunch Count Day, so today let's make lunch count. God knows I will. It's very cold in here. I'm James McIntyre. Please, let's roll that intro before my fingertips freeze off. The blood drive is a week away. If you're at least 16 years old and want to donate blood on Tuesday, April 18th, please fill out the mandatory form by April 16th. We want to remind you that April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. Students Speak Up for Kids, a foster care organization, is raising awareness by passing out blue swag like pinwheels and crowns. Show your support by passing them along and taking pictures to spread awareness. Well, everyone, I can surely say that the Pops concert was a major success. Congratulations to everyone involved in all of the top tier performances. Now, if you're like me and you're absolutely itching to see more performances, please see the dance department's exhilaration performance this Friday through Sunday. Tickets can be purchased at DreyfusDance.com. Now, let's take a look at this story about the Pops concert. Last week, the music department put on a show incorporating music from several different forms of media, such as plays, movies, and popular tunes. Students created the groups and the lucky ones that got picked performed their acts in front of a jam-packed Meyer Hall. Here come some performers sharing what the concert means to them. Um, the Pops concert is basically like a concert where we have a bunch of like movie music or like band music. Just basically like stuff we don't traditionally do, like not classical. So it's like my personal favorite one because it's like fun. I think that this concert is so special because it gives everybody a chance to try out and anyone can put whatever combo or whatever music together that they want and everyone can try out so there's a lot more freedom and expressibility that comes along with it. Well this concert is really special to me because it's not as um, let's see, like formal as the rest of our concerts are. You get a lot of experience and you learn a lot putting groups together on your own because like in class you always have a teacher kind of guiding you through everything but there's a lot that you learn through. Overall, the Pops concert was a smashing success. I'm Brendan Williams, reporting for DSOA Today. The Civic Literacy Exam is coming up on April 19th, so seniors, I will start studying immediately. Speaking of tests, everybody, testing season is coming quickly. ACE exams are starting the week of April 25th, followed by two weeks of AP testing and EOCs. Make sure you are reviewing over time and not cramming at the last second, like me. That's such a pity, Zach. Anyways, Calling all merch maniacs, the PTSO is selling Dreyfus swag in the front lobby of Building 1 right by Student Services. Please make sure to stop by and pick up some amazing Dreyfus merch. Also, speaking of the PTSO, they are planning an incredible night for seniors after graduation. So seniors, remember to turn in those project graduation forms by May 11th. We know it's a, week, or a month away, but the time is flying by and we don't want you to miss out on a night to remember. Do you know what else will be another night to remember? Mr. Burns, a post-electric play, which will be making its debut tomorrow. So please mark your calendars immediately. There are also shows on Saturday and Sunday. The tickets are being sold on DSOATheater.com. Please purchase yours to see an electric performance. The American Cancer Society is hosting a restaurant night at Burger Fi this Friday. Head over to the Burger Fi right near school up until 9 p.m. on the 14th and tell them you're with Dreyfus. Be sure to come out to the Books, Art, and Music Festival, or BAM, downtown on the 400 block of Clematis by the Mandel Library. 
Over 50 visual and digital media students will be selling custom-made original works, prints, clothing, jewelry, and other unique trinkets and objects at our third ever visual arts and digital media artist market, now in collaboration with the BAM Festival. Additionally, over 20 students will be doing street paintings of masterworks and beautiful originals. This event is from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. this Saturday. We hope to see you all there supporting our amazing students and departments. Now, to everyone's favorite segment, Random Rankings. I'm kidding. But James, I heard you had some jokes to tell us. Well, good morning, drafters. The school year is coming to an end, and I'm ready for all of the end of the year shows. Mr. Burns and a post-electric play is coming up, and with me being who I am, I have my sources, and I heard that the show will be lights out. <laughs> Anyways, prom is also around the horizon, and if you want to see yours truly stunting out on a Saturday night, make sure to get your tickets now. Now, for all the prom jokes. When is the worst time to ask someone to prom? November. <laughs> what does a bad joke and an overcrowded prom have in common? A really bad punchline. Well, that's all we have for you today, guys. I'm James McIntyre. What a very funny guy. I wish I could be like him. Anyway, finally, we would like to take a second to honor Arab American History Month by putting a spotlight on Freddie Mercury, the lead singer and frontman of the legendary band Queen. Mercury is probably known for his performance at Live Aid in 1985 before his death to AIDS in 1991. Well, everybody, I'm Zach Montoya, reminding you to make lunch count today. And I'm James McIntyre. Please be sure to spread that magic.